Hi everyone, Kevin Page here again. Now, we always have the case where tenants will break the rules. So, let's talk a little bit about that. What are you going to do? How are you going to handle that? You're going to call them on the phone? You're going to send them an email? Here's a couple of guidelines we use and I recommend using also. First, you've got to issue a disturbance notice in writing and place it on a tenant's door. Be detailed in your description of the violation or disturbance. Don't wait too long. Send it as soon as possible. This lets the tenant know you are serious. If the tenant continues to break the rules, issue a seven-day notice. Be detailed and make sure the names match all the names on the lease. Now, if they continue to break the rules after the seven days expires, you have the legal right to send a seven-day notice to terminate lease. You will also want to be sure you use the correct notice. Here's a couple of examples. The disturbance notice is for loud music, parties, arguing, that type of thing. The seven-day cure is for continued documented disturbances. If the tenant keeps ignoring your notices, you set in the seven days cure. It is also used for illegal tenants or pets, damages, that type of thing. Then we have the seven day notice to vacate. This is for severe continued documented disturbances, illegal activity, or extensive damages. So there you have some nice tips on how to handle a tenant that is breaking the rules. By following a few simple guidelines, you can avoid costly mistakes and bring an unruly tenant into line real quickly. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, just give me a call, send an email. I'll be glad to respond right away. Thanks. Have a great day.